No, Johnny, these men are nihilists. There's nothing to be afraid of. I, oh, I fucking... Oh, bowling ball to the belly of Walter. He was certainly not a nihilist. And although he may have been a psycho, at least Walter had an ethos. <laughs> now, I use that clip from The Big Lebowski for two reasons. One, to introduce the topic of, of values or ethics or, you know, a personal philosophy to live out of. And also, one of the characters in that clip, the actor, has something in common with me in regard to values and ethics. Now, the values that I want to talk about in this short video are not the type that one would apply to a, a short-term goal. I'm talking about ethics to live from, you know, the, the, the kind of underlying narrative that guides our lives. And it's, I believe, really good to have one. And it's a very complex topic that varies around the world. We live in this multicultural, pluralistic society today. so. I'm not going to suggest for you anything, you know, to, uh, that you should follow in terms, in terms of values. What I'm going to present to you is a short video of me that was taken by my daughter about a year and a half ago. I was in New York City visiting my family, and it was also the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. For those of you who may not know, I was a firefighter and a lieutenant in the New York City Fire Department. So I went back to my engine company, Engine Company 5, to commemorate the 20th anniversary. And I'm going to present that clip here as a way of illustrating the value of ethics and values. Walking through the doors the onto the apparatus floor this morning was like stepping into a time machine. I spent almost 13 years as a lieutenant here, and this is one of the best companies on the planet. Uh, it's nice to be among us, all of you again. As he said, I was on a plane that morning. My brother and my girlfriend actually witnessed the fire at the Trade Center as we took off from uh, JFK. And we'll grant grabbed in Dayton, Ohio. It took three days to get back here. On the morning, that Friday morning that week, for the 9 o'clock roll call, everybody was here. We had 24 guys on the roster, I believe, in all four offices. And I remember Mike Mullins, the captain, stepping up and saying something like this, you know, we're hurt, we took, we took a hit, and we're hurt, and we're, we're angry, and we're sad, and we're full of grief, but we have a city to protect. We gotta clean up the rig, get our equipment in order, and do what we swore to do as firefighters in New York City. And that's exactly what everybody did. And for the next two or three months, I don't even remember how long I stayed, I watch all of you take those values forward with our grief and with our sadness. And what I learned is when you live from values like that, you can be sad and you can be angry and you can still do what you need to do. And I was never more proud in my 20 years than in that period of time to work with all of you. There was a writer, you and uh, you and McGregor, he's a, a, a writer in London, that was looking for something to write about, about the 9-11 tragedy, that wasn't depressing. And what he focused in on is something that I had never thought of. All of the people in the buildings and on the airplanes that had access to a phone called their loved ones and they knew they were going to die. And what their message was, was I love you. It was a message of love. People who knew they were doomed. There's also a New Testament verse about there's no greater love than to give your life for another. Like man, 342 others did that day. So those are the values that you get to take forward. From here, the 20 years I spent in New York City Fire Department were the most exciting and fulfilling 20 years of my life. And it's because of that. It's because we are a value-driven culture. And it's stated very simply. In New York City, we save lives and property in that order. That's our mission. And compacted into that little phrase, 
is so much complexity, and that's what we live up to. I often tell people that my job here in the fire department was to go up to the edge of chaos and retrieve oil. Continue to do that in the traditions of five engine in the fire department. I'm proud of you all. I used a clip from The Big Lebowski, the movie The Big Lebowski, to introduce, to kind of hopefully humorously introduce a rather serious to topic of, of personal values. And one of the actors in that clip, uh, the one who played Donnie, is a gentleman by the name of uh, Steve Buscemi. And Steve was a firefighter also in New York City at the same time that I was a lieutenant at Engine 5. He was at 55 Engine, which was a company very close to where I work we very well may have crossed paths a number of times. And uh, so that's why that clip was important to me because it contained a gentleman who I knew shared the kind of special uh, values that we firefighters, we New York City firefighters share with one another. Uh, Steve often goes back to visit 55 Engine in a very unheralded way, he never brings attention to it. He'll go and have dinner with the guys and talk about the old times. He also uh, came around uh, the 9-11 uh, aftermath and worked for many days down at the Trade Center with us, uh, elbow to elbow, sharing those values. Focus. You're trying to listen to your officer. I was in the engine com company, so you know it was all about bringing in a hose and putting water on the fire. And um, so you're always with a team of guys. Now, again, values are a very big topic and a pluralistic thing. You have to figure out what yours are. Mine contained some of the values, even still today, that I learned as a, as a fireman and a lieutenant in, in New York City. But I have a broader range of values than that as well. And that's because when I was in my late 20s, I sat down and thought about it and wrote about it and talked about it with trusted advisors and really developed a, uh, a sense of, of, of ethics of my own that I live for. And they're like guideposts along the way like I said in the video. I think the video illustrates my point. And that's the general topic of this short video. You know, get a set of values. Now, if you want to be a nihilist, well, I guess that's your choice. But be wary of psycho war veterans with bowling balls. See you soon.